Hi, it's Sean here. I'm going to show you today a screencast of how we can do an overlay in Photoshop using these two images. Okay, first of all, I just want to say that I am using a Mac computer, um, which is different to the uh, PCs in the college, and I'm also using a different version of Photoshop. Um, but you will find that everything is in the same place, and we're going to use everything in the same way. Um, so I'll just open up Photoshop. So as you can see, everything is laid out the same way as you'll find uh, on the computers in college um, or your versions of Photoshop at home. Um, so if we go, to, first of all we'll go to File, Open, so we're going to open the image that we want to work on today. Um, so there we go and the first thing I'm going to do is going to duplicate this layer and I want to duplicate the layer because it gives you the opportunity if in the future as we go through this process if we make a mistake we can always go back um, and it's also good to duplicate the layers to use it as a reference point as you start to make changes to the image okay so I can do this duplicate I can duplicate the layer by going to layer and duplicate layer okay or I can press Control and J as a keyboard shortcut and you will find that the layer pops up there, so in your layers panel over here. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is going to go File Open, and I'm going to select the image that I want to use today to overlay. Um, so I'm going to select this image here, and you see this image? It's a uh, long exposure, um, so you can see this like kind of nice light drawing pattern going on. Um, so I'm just going to drag this out. Now to move this layer over to the image we want to overlay on, I'm going to need to use the Move tool. So you can find the move tool over here on the left hand tool panel. So I'm going to select that. And all I want to do is click on this image and drag it over to where I want it to go. And then let go and you'll see it pop up over that image. So we can see here that this image is a lot larger than our image uh, we start, uh, the, the first image we started with. Um, so if you want to resize an image, the best tool to use is going to be uh, Transform. So we can find Transform if we go to Edit, then Transform, and Scale. So here you'll find Scale. So the best thing to do when you're uh, resizing images is if you hold down the Shift key. So hold down the Shift key and resize the image. Now this keeps the uh, image that you're resizing in proportion with itself. Um, whereas if I was to let go of the shift key, you see how the image will uh, distort or um, squeeze together, so you can lose um, that proportion. So if I was hold down the shift key and let's just resize that image. Okay, I've gone a little bit too small there, so I might make it a little bit larger again. Okay, I'm happy with that. So if we just press enter, that will resize the image for us. Okay. So now over here, you can see that now you've got three layers. So you've got your first uh, layer that you duplicated, which is a copy of the background. And you've got your second layer, which is the, it is the layer that you want to overlay over the first. So we can do uh, an overlay uh, blending technique um, by this little uh, scroll down menu here. If we click on that and we scroll down to overlay and click overlay, now that will overlay that image over the um, first portrait image. Okay, so we can move that around um, as long as you've still got your move, move tool selected, you can move that layer around. Okay, so now you can save that as a JPEG if you want to print it off. Um, uh, but I'd advise, first of all, if you go to File and Save As, and make sure that you save it as a Photoshop file. Because what a Photoshop file will do is keep all these layers here. Um, so if you want to come back and edit it or make changes to it in the future, you can do. Um, so if we just save that quickly. Okay. Um, but yeah, and then you can also do exactly the same way for saving it as a JPEG. Um, so yeah, thanks for listening, and I hope that helps. Okay.